today I'm coming on board to talk about why do we even do coaching? Like if you're considering hiring a coach, why? Why would you do it? Why do people do it? What do you get out of it? What do you look for in a coach? A lot of my clients, when they first become my clients, have never had a coach before. So I thought this would be a good topic to talk about. Okay, in a nutshell, why coaching? To improve, to create better circumstances for yourself, to feel better, do better, have better in your life. So specifically, my jam is women's leadership coaching. I help women who are in management positions out there in the world, working with other people, up level their skills and confidence in that realm. But literally, when you improve one area of your life, there is a domino effect of positive impact in all areas of your life. So there are women in my group who have come to me because they wanted to solve a particular problem. But what they didn't see was that by addressing some of the issues that were causing them some pain or friction or frustration, once they solved what was happening, they had all of these other areas sort of ripple out in a positive way. So the first reason why we do coaching, why we hire a coach is because we want to improve something. We're interested in developing and up-leveling and solving um, and in becoming better. If you use the sports analogy, People like Tiger Woods and Serena Williams have coaches because they want a better swing. They want to be more successful in a way that they can't do just for themselves. So this is the other aspect of coaching. Many people, maybe you listening to this video, feel like coaching is a luxury or it's something that other people pay for. And that what you feel is, and I was definitely in this camp, that first I should try to do it on my own. And this sounds like I just need to figure out dot, dot, dot. I just need to X, Y, or Z. This idea that if we, if we take a certain action, if we somehow get clarity, then things will fall into place. And that's what we want to do. That's what we need to do. That's why we attend free workshops. That's why we listen to podcasts. That's why we read self-help books is because we're trying to unlock some of the things that we think are blocking us so that then things will improve. But here's the hard truth. If you could have figured it out using all of those resources available to you, you would have figured it out by now. And I don't mean that to sound like gaslighting and weird and negative. It just means that... A brain surgeon, as talented and brilliant and trained and experienced as she may be, cannot do brain surgery on her own brain. There are certain aspects of our figuring it out that actually can't be done you on you, you for you, because we're living in our own head with our own assumptions and our own beliefs and our own automatic behaviors and our own autopilot way that we even cannot see. So the real benefit of working with a coach, yes, it's to up level. Yes, it's to improve. Yes, it's to um, create better circumstances. Yes, it's to unblock something. But the way in which we are doing it is by bringing on board a third party person who's trained and observant to be able to unlock for us what we can't unlock for ourselves. That's why we hire a coach. This is why if you feel like I don't know about coaching. I don't know. It feels like it's an indulgent expense. I feel selfish or self-centered to purchase coaching for me. I want to remind you or let you know that people like Oprah and Tony Robbins, the famous life coach, have coaches because even they, as magnanimous as they are, as famous as they are, as developed as they are, as impactful as they are, they know that for them to hold that level and keep expanding to ever new levels, they want that third party neutral person to help evoke transformation in their thinking, in their beliefs, in their behavior. And that's why even they hire coaches. Okay, so that might be an example like where you could think, well, sure, they're wealthy. (laughs) <laughs> and that's their jam. I'm not sure that I need a coach because I'm just X, Y, Z. And I want to flip that switch and say, you don't need a coach. No one needs a coach, but maybe you want one. 
maybe you want the support, the learning, the not going it alone, that having a coach, being part of a program, being part of a small network, being part of a community provides. Because there's synergy and momentum that builds when you apply yourself to actually up leveling your skills and your beliefs and your thoughts in a way that enlists you that you don't naturally do on your own when you're just managing yourself. So the reason why we want coaching is because we want to improve. The reason why we use coaching as a tool to improve is because it's hard for us to self coach or like I like to say for to pro- perform brain surgery on our own brain. And because we know that we can get where we want to get faster, more effectively, more efficiently, with better, faster results, when we enlist some professional help. So what I want to suggest is that sometimes women will finally start booking a consult call with me when they feel desperate, when they have hit their limit, when they think they're just about to quit, or they really don't know what else to do. And I can see that they're in this painful circumstance and I know that I can help them and often they'll decide to sign up and we start a beautiful relationship together. And what I hear so frequently is that they wish they would have started sooner. They wish that they didn't hold off so long trying to figure it out on their own because they just delayed the result of, of what they wanted. They delayed having the support and the learning and the aha moments and the awareness and the confidence to be able to affect the change that they wanted because they felt like they they weren't ready yet and they needed to do something to get ready. They were going to just figure it out on their own first and that they wish they would have started beforehand. So if you're tempted, if you're curious, I encourage you to book a consult. It is not necessarily go time. It's a time for you to meet with me to literally do a diagnostic, a review of what's going on for you, where you are now and where you want to be and what would be the bridge between the two. Sometimes yes, it is working with me. And that's what I'll explain. Sometimes no, it's not the right answer to hire me or be part of a group coaching program. And I can suggest what you can go do. So as this group is closing on Friday, I want to encourage you now to take action, to not just listen to some free trainings, not just be part of this group in sort of a passive consumption style, but to take action to step forward for you to actually get a personalized consultation with me to help you see more clearly what might be standing in your way. Or if you feel like you know what's in your way to see what the steps are to getting to where you want to be. That's the purpose of the consult. Okay, while I have you, I will tell you, I do not subscribe to trying to get anybody to purchase coaching from me. Yes, it's my business. Yes, it's my livelihood. But no, I do not want to convince people to work with me. If you come on a consult, it is a clean space for me to be acquainted with you and for me to really assess what's going on for you and explain what I think might help you and then for you to make a decision what you'd like to do. So if that sounds interesting to you, I encourage you to book a call. Even having a free consultation can change the trajectory of your whole life. Even a free consultation can offer you so much value by having clarity on what your real issues are and a sense of direction or a trajectory for how you might solve for what is in your way. I will post a link in the comments below for how you can get on my calendar, but let's do it soon because we're getting started and I'm closing this group at the end of this week. That's what I have for you for now, ladies. Bye for now.